My name is Samuel Mahia. I'm a mathematics teacher. I'm a school counselor and also a volunteer community counselor. My late father was uh, a driver and he used to say, Samuel, my son, I want you to be a doctor, I want you to be a teacher. Then from there, that inspiration, I, I grew up wanting to be somebody who to save the people. My students, they are self-motivated. They want to learn. When I got it that in the United States of America, a teacher was shot by a student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't good for me. <laughs> the kind of respect that teachers in Africa get is very high. If I just go to the assembly and bellow there, you see everyone running. And if I get in a class, I expect them to stand up and say good morning, and then I'll say sit down. In our country, if you are not educated, it is very difficult to get sources of income. Education is something that will make them cross the rivers, cross the poverty line. About 40% of our peoples, they get it difficult to pay school fees. Primary schools, $5 per term. High schools, $30 per term. I, I, I feel very sorry for the parents who cannot afford to pay for Dr. Pio Mashakada, he was informed too, and the, he was living with um, an old grandmother, 80 years plus, and he dropped out of school. It pained me very, very, very much. Due to uh, peer pressure, he, he might start stealing, abusing alcohol, Sharon Gala is a girl child. She failed to register all level exams. Then I'm saying to myself, what will then happen next? A number of men who were raping people within the community where our high school is. Our children, some of them were victims. It's most likely they are going to impregnate her. They are going to abuse her. Coming. Students travel, some from as far as 12 kilometers away from the school. Some barefoot, barefooted. They don't have even uh, uh, some slippers. 24 kilometers a day from home to school. And once they come to school, they, they, they feel outcast. They feel, I'm, I'm so poor, I cannot join this group. They, they feel labeled, that poverty. They want education, books, clothes, school fees. The type of assistance that we are looking for is Zimbabweans, so that our children, they really feel at home when they're at school. And also, you mustn't leave teachers out in some of these gifts. As a teacher, I travel 7.5 kilometers to the main road so that you can catch a car or a public transport when we go to get our salaries in the cities, to get um, even bicycles. It's uh, very difficult. It's very hard for teachers to get computers. I, I cannot work for two months without food in order to buy a laptop. The family cannot accept that. So I should think that things like laptops, bicycles for teachers, cars. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm trying to think big. Our friends in America can buy us better cars, even second hand, good to second hand. After saving a, maybe a thousand dollars, then those cars will be shipped. So that what you give me, I'll pass it on to the child through motivation, through extra teachings. I think it will go a long way towards improvement of education and the, the welfare of the child. You see, the Zimbabwean children, they have a vision. 
if they can be assisted they want one day to be able to go to national universities Zimbabwe or to South Africa to be able to cross the seas and see how Americans are living the students that all keep the world going that motivates me